Welcome to the land of the long white cloud. New Zealand is like no other country we have ever visited and it's furthest we can get from home without leaving the planet. So we thought we'd explore it inside and out by planes, trains and automobiles. Oh, and by ship too, but that's another story. We can't wait to show you the food, the fun and the slightly frightening as we walk on glaciers ride the steepest cable car in the southern hemisphere, meet with friendly locals, do daft things that I still can't remember why we actually did them, and of course marvel at the absolutely astonishing scenery and the power within it. We explored both the North Island and the South Island in what turned out to be the most incredible and unforgettable 18 days of our lives, and we want to show you why we think New Zealand is the most beautiful country on Earth. Trips like this one is precisely why we called ourselves Visit With Us. So please do. Let's go. It was so good. It was really good. And really we survived. Good. And we survived. Let's face it, for us Brits, travelling to New Zealand is a mammoth task requiring stamina and endurance, and a loss of the use of your legs if flying in economy. Though after all the effort of getting here, we wanted to make sure we were able to cover as much of New Zealand as possible. We pondered a self-drive holiday covering both North and South Islands, but then we discovered that Riviera Travel had an organised escorted tour taking in all of the places we thought we should visit, and some we didn't know we should. It would take us from the far north of North Island to the deep south and fjordlands of the South Island without us having to spend a minute making any of our own plans. The travelling, hotels, excursions, places of interest that cover history, culture, excitement and breathtaking scenery, well, they do it all for you. Why then would we choose to go it alone? Although Riviera Travel's Land of the Long White Cloud tour actually starts in Singapore, we were already in Auckland, so we picked up the tour and around 40 other excited group members a few days in. And this is where our story begins. Welcome to Auckland! We've made it. We've made it, we've just got off the ship and we've checked in our hotel, which is a lovely hotel, Millennium Hotel, and we're now making our way to a bus stop that's going to take us to an extinct volcano. Right, well we have worked it out, but <laughs> it says the brown route, <laughs> but none of the stops are on this map that we need to go on, which is a bit strange. So what we have learned very quickly <laughs> is you can't just tap on, tap off New Zealand buses. Uh, pay you, you, or pay with cash. Or pay with cash. You have to buy a card, almost like an Oyster card like you get in London, yeah. to tap on top of with the card. Well, we haven't got one, but the, the driver's so sweet, he lets us let us on the bus anyway. So it's really sweet, <laughs> just by being dumbass tourists. <laughs> <laughs> so this is where we're going. Mongawai, Mount Eden. A warm welcome to Mongawai. I don't know if I pronounced that right, sorry. The ancestral mountain of Auckland. The summit is closed for construction. We weren't expecting this. Put that on the thumbnail. Um, we're going to walk up there anyway. Well, here we are. This is Auckland. Now, obviously, the one problem we have with catching a free bus ride here is that we have no way of getting back. So we're going to have to walk. So we found this little Indian place, or well, Helen did, didn't you? Yeah. I and uh, we really, really wanted to get an Indian. But we're here, it's called Fort, what is it called? Fort 1947. It's not far from the hotel, which is lovely. Anyway, while Helen is trying to upload something on 3G, I mean 3G, I'm not saying that Auckland is 20 years behind, but dot, dot, dot. I've done a series of that. I've done a series. No, I'm not saying New Zealand is 20 years behind but maybe 40 years behind. This is the local electrical store. New Inn! Colour! I mean, I've been a bit underwhelmed by Auckland so far. I think it's probably because we we uh, walked through 
they're not the so pretty areas. How can you tell you're in Australia or New Zealand? The road signs. <laughs> Here comes some more food on. Some of that there. Oh my goodness. This is the chili chicken. Oh, it smells divine. This is like minced lamb with buns. Buttered buns. <laughs> And we've got this sort of pot of lamb here. It's like a lamb stew, but it's, um, look at that. And then some naans and some rice. I'm glad we only did one main because, oh my goodness. Okay, so I was wrong about Auckland. The next day the sun was out and we were probably a little less travel weary and there was nothing better to do on a beautiful day than to have a really good walk around and we saw the city through completely different eyes. It was utterly lovely. Tonight, we are dining here at Sky City in Auckland. But the meal will be high, but is it any good? We are dining at the Sugar Club. So we have to go down to go up. That's very interesting. Where will it lead? We shall find out. Right, where, where do we press? Oh, Sugar Club. 50. Oh, she has. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh. Now we're, no, we're going to see things come out of there, and I think this is going to be open as well, Helen. There's going to be little. There's going to be a little uh, coffee. We're going up quickly. Yeah, we are. Look Where at that. Oh my goodness. That's a bit freaky. I don't like that. That is literally. Oh, here we go. Whoa, oh, look oh, at that, Helen. See. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That's like Death Star. Almost there. Oh gosh. Isn't that oh, great? Gone. Wow, that is a ride. That's quite literally. Oh, it's all kind of almost there. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that doesn't yeah. look good anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look good. Anymore. You don't want to look. And here we are at the uh, the Sugar Club. Oh, well that was something, wasn't it? Wow, look at this. Oh my goodness, look at this. Wow. Wow, that is cool. Look at our table. That's amazing, isn't it? This is the Sugar Club in Sky City. We are, um, well, 53 floors up. And uh, look at that. And we get a view of the bridge. Look at that, Helen. So we've got some lovely cocktails here. We've got a Hemingway. I'm, I'm going to go for the Hemingway Daiquiri, I think. And I think Helen's going to go for the, well, I think it's called the... Well, Hangi Pit, but it might not be pronounced like that because the <laughs> I think they're Maori letters, so I don't actually know how that's pronounced. A lovely dinner menu here, several tasting menus. So I think I'm going to go for the venison tartare, followed by the coastal lamb. Look, past your plate. You can't come to New Zealand without eating copious amounts of lamb. <laughs> I've found probably some salted potatoes. Oh my goodness, what do you do there? Probably the chocolate and stone fruit. I've never seen a stone fruit before. That's what I'm going to go for, I think. Uh, no. I had a meal on a plane once. <laughs> this is the tallest tower in the Southern Hemisphere, and Sydney's the second tallest. Oh, we've been up both. Isn't that great? Anyway, I'm going to take some pictures over there, I think, in the bar. This is where they do the skywalk. So you get clipped onto that rail there and you, you literally walk on that. It looks like extremely narrow uh, walkway with no, literally no rails at all. I mean, would you do that? Leave a comment. Let us know what you think. Would you do that? Because I personally wouldn't. Even though you're kind of strapped in at the top there and nothing can go wrong. I don't, I don't think my mind will let me do that. That's just, that's just going beyond, above and beyond what mentally I'm capable of. 
but do you think you do? Have you done the skywalk? Let us know. Please do. I'd be really fascinated to know whether you do it or not. Leave a comment below. <laughs> Helen's actually got a chili on her cocktail. A habanero it's chili. A Is it jalapeno or habanero? Is it? Oh my goodness. Well, anyway, cheers. Cheers. Let's try this spicy cocktail. Oh gosh. Mine's cheers. Well, this is the Nibbles, and it's fresh oyster, and what was this again? Sweet potato. Sweet potato. Under a coconut yogurt, and... Now, Helen really enjoyed hers. This has got like a chilli oil on it. It looks amazing, doesn't it? Let's give it a go, shall we? All of a sudden it got really dark and the good news was the bridge put on a free light show, which looked great from up here. And the bad news was, unfortunately, I hadn't brought my fancy low light camera, so filming the rest of the meal was a bit of a challenge. Don't look at the light, don't look at the light. Stay on target, stay on target. You do know what that is, don't you? Stay on target. <laughs> Oh, Coming in the land, folks. Ooh, coming in hot. Oh, wow, well, that, that was pretty cool. With surprisingly no hangover at all, it was time for us to leave Auckland and for the real fun to begin. Join us in part two as we board this beauty and explore the wonders of the North Island. There's so much to see and we can't wait to show you. If you've loved this video, thank you so much. We love you too. We recommend these next, so we'll see you there. Thank you.